Hi everyone, it's Elaine Hamilton from the Reiki Center. Going a little bit off topic this session to talk about uh, a meditation to help you to relieve yourself or check in or just as a double check around energy hooks. And it's not really a topic I talk about a lot because people get a bit overexcited when I start talking about things like this. Either they they find the esoteric nature of the topic uh, like special or they just put it in the don't believe pile. So it can create a little bit of um, like discourse, shall we say, or some people will, will be disappointed that I talk about stuff like this. But to me, it's all part of the wide range of vibrations that we deal with in Reiki or any energy. If you have a certain sensitivity to energy, then you are going to be open to this idea that there are, there's a lot of depth in the, in our physical world. So when I talk about energy hooks, I'm talking about um, other energies that are not necessarily in our physical um, world, in the physical realm. So I've just come back from Bali and um, Bali is a very interesting country because the entire society is very much engaged in the spiritual world. And so there's offerings made to gods. There's uh, a lot of different ceremonies to appease the gods. When you go there, there's there's lots of different references to different kinds of gods that do different kinds of things. And there's a lot of ceremony. There's a lot of ritual. There's a lot of um, daily intercourse with the, with the other side, if you like, or with the spirit realm. So I'm not talking about spirituality as a as a practice, I'm talking about the actual spirit realm that um, that some people would say exists. Some people would say don't exist. The realms of angels, the realms of fairies, the the realms of gods and goddesses, and all that kind of thing. And whether you believe it or don't believe it, you know that's totally your probably your experience. So for some of us, we do have quite a wide um, perception capacity. I was born with it. I can see things other people can't see, and I've always been able to do it. So to me, it's just obvious it exists. <laughs> I mean, I don't really need to have a discussion with anyone about it. It's like, if you can't see it, it's a little bit like talking to a colorblind person who can't see red and trying to convince them red exists because you can see it and they can't see it. It's not really a discussion point for me. It just, I just know what I sense and I know what I feel. And I know from enough experience that um, this whole realm does require a certain amount of respect. And you do need to navigate it with some care because there's a lot of mischief making that also happens in this realm. And so when you are in a place like Bali for a couple of weeks, uh, you may or may not be impacted, of course. I know lots of people that just see Bali as a lovely vacation destination. They don't really notice the agitation or the or the very fineness of the veil. But for those of us who are quite sensitive to these kinds of energies, it's a noisy place. It's a really noisy place. I don't see it as a very relaxing vacation myself. But, you know, that's just me. But the purpose of this meditation is because often when you are in a environment whereby there's a lot of um, spirit energy as opposed to spiritual energy, then it can sometimes disrupt your energy system because they can hook in. Now, um, I don't want to scare people because when I talk about this, the reason I don't talk about this a lot is because it can scare the bejesus out of people. And they're like, oh, I've got a spirit entity. Um, it's not really like that, but it is kind of like that. It's more like a little, it's more like you picked up a little parasite or you've picked up a little nuisance or like a bug. So um, on holiday, I did pick up a physical bacteria. It did make me physically ill. 
But then I started to notice as I was recovering that there was an energetic um, kind of shadow that wasn't really leaving. And um, my my kids also got sick. And so uh, I'm really doing this because they were like, well, how do we get rid of it? And then I'm like, oh, you have to do this exercise of clearing the hooks. So I just thought, well, why not put it out to you guys as well? Because it might be something that you just want to check in on yourself and just go, well, do I have any hooks in my system? And if so, let's clear that. Let's, let's clear it all up, right? Why not? And even if uh, you think, oh, that's all just in your imagination, that's just placebo, that's just nonsense. This is a very lovely meditation to shine up your aura. So either way, it's a win-win situation, okay? So um, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about energy hooks or anything. Just follow the guidance and just see for yourself. And also remember that energy hooks might not, it's, I'm not only talking about uh, spirit entities, okay? So don't get too freaked out about that. They could literally just be energy shadows of viruses or bacteria or physical organisms, um, that have been in your body or created illness, and then there's still a shadow of that. It could also be people's hooks into you. I'm sure you've had situations whereby you've been with people and then the relationship ends, whether it's a friendship or whether it's a, a romantic, um, intimate relationship. And then when it ends, there's like, you keep thinking about this person. This person is just constantly there in the background. And often it's because there's a kind of energy uh, thread that is is still hooked in. And um, so this is also an equally good me meditation for releasing yourself from any old relationship hooks or um, even event hooks or trauma hooks or anything. So anything that you think there's just something kind of hooking in um, and it tends to be around the solar plexus, which is under the ribs, so over the stomach area, and it can cause stomach issues as well, or just kind of this feeling of being a bit bloated or a bit almost like you're leaking energy all the time, um, a feeling of tiredness or just or just the kind of tightness around the belly, um, and it could come from a whole variety of different things, right? So whatever, whatever you feel inclined to believe doesn't really matter. This meditation is to help you just check it out, see how you feel about it, whether you feel that your um, aura and your chakras are quite robust, whether they're leaking, not leaking, and if so, um, cleaning it up, right? Making it all shiny again. So what we're going to do is we're going to start off with a Reiki uh, Reiju, a Reiki attunement, hands in Gasho in front of the heart center. And this meditation is about 10 minutes, maybe a bit, even a bit shorter. And it's just a way of checking in um, and then releasing, dissolving the, any hooks that you might intuit. Uh, even if it's in your imagination, just go with it. Just enjoy it. And then we're going to fill ourselves up with the Reiki. We're going to use a golden yellow light because that's a solar plexus color. And we're going to infuse our entire aura with this light as a way of sealing and protection. So I hope you enjoy this. Just taking a couple of breaths, starting to bring yourself into a meditative um, seated position, nice and comfy. And just starting to take a couple of breaths. And as you do so, you're bringing your attention up into the crown chakra, calling in the Reiki attunement. As you inhale, pulling in the Reiki through the crown all the way into the heart chakra. And for the purpose of this meditation, bringing it a little bit lower into the belly as well. So breathing the Reiki all the way down into the belly. And just seeing if you can imagine the entire chakra system. So the energy centers of the body go all the way from the top of the crown. They follow the spine all the way down to the tailbone. So as you call in the Reiki, you can imagine for this a white light coming all the way down through the top of the head and make it as brilliant 
and as bright as you can and allow it to travel all the way down the spine, into the tailbone, into the coccyx. And you're just doing this for a couple of breaths. And then you're going to bring one hand, doesn't matter which one, and just place it over your solar plexus. So that is underneath the ribs. And you can place your other hand over the top of that if you want, or just up into your heart center or down in the belly. It's really up to you. And we're just going to start off observing the solar plexus area. And you can imagine it as a radiant ball of yellow, golden light. And as you imagine that golden yellow light, just opening your mind to see if you notice any shadows. And they tend to be a little bit darker. They might even... As your imagination kicks in, they might even sh be shown to you as hooks or as little darker sticks or points. Or the solar plexus itself might just feel a bit muddy. And don't worry too much about your imagination having lots to say about this, just open, relax, see what comes to you. See if you can do it with as little judgment as possible. And if it is beautifully golden and radiant, you're simply breathing into that radiance and expanding it all the way through the body. And if you're noticing just some little dark spots or a bit more murky areas, just taking a couple of moments to direct a beautiful radiance into this area. You're not trying to unhook anything. You're just seeing if you can watch it dissolve into the golden brilliance. We're just very gently dissolving it here. And maybe something else happens as well, just going with whatever seems to be appearing for you. And if you can expand that light so that it goes up into the heart center, into the chest. Just taking time to observe the heart center as well. And your intention here is specifically to be highlighting any energetic hooks that might be around that no longer serve you and no longer required. Now you're looking at the entire chest area as well. But also out into the back. And keeping relaxed, not straining, just a Open curiosity for what might present or be shown to you. And again, if there's anything that seems like a bit of a shadow, a little hook-like shape, a darker area, just very gently allow that to dissolve into the golden brilliance. And you do the same up into the throat. Oh, 
into the third eye, the crown itself, just expanding upwards, seeing if anything seems to jump out at you. And then bringing your attention back down again, past the solar plexus, all the way down into the sacral and the root. Just allowing the entire torso now to be bathed in a brilliant golden yellow light. Every inhale, you make it more intense, more radiant. And then very gently, you're just going to breathe Every exhale, filling out into the aura itself. You're just imagining a bubble, one or two feet all around your body. And you imagine a beautiful gloss, like a shiny bubble cover all the way around your aura. Almost like that really delicious looking glaze that you put over a cake. And it just glazes the entire aura. And you could stick with the golden yellow, or there might be another color or colors that seem to be more resonant for you. But essentially, you're looking to fill the entire circle all the way around you. And if there's any little gaps, you notice any little holes or leaks, you just very gently cover it up with the glaze. And just breathing every breath. You intensify the energy all around your body. And you can keep doing this as long as you like, or you can keep coming back and doing this same process. until it feels very full and radiant and clear and clean. A very simple process just for checking your own state of energy, making sure that there's nothing, no foreign bodies hanging around or no old attachments that can be released, dissolved, healed. And as I said, you could stay here as long as you like. Or you can very gently just start wiggling your fingers and toes, giving yourself a little stretch, a little shake. And whenever you're ready, just disconnecting and opening your eyes.